Hey kids, what's up? It's me. I'm here doing my video thing again. I fixed my hair, I started parting it back in the middle, because it looks so much better when it's in the middle, really. You know. Um, wow, my hair looks really light. It's, um... Those people, you know, they're so used to seeing me with black hair for years and years and years, so they don't remember that my hair is actually was originally red when I was a little kid. So, anyway. My back is killing me today, so um, I stayed home and I thought I would, uh, you know, come out and do one of these because I'm bored before uh, taking a nap because I'm old. So, <laughs> anyway, um, the other day, actually, uh, hold on, like, as I said, like, you can see how short my hair is now. It's, uh, but, I mean, you know, you can't see how short I actually cut it. Um, but you can definitely tell that it's shorter than it was before. So, you know. Um, well, you know, it's funny. I'm uh, wearing my uh, like little sweater thing I'm wearing. Uh, Ex-girlfriend gave me that. Um, in fact, actually, this too. Um, this little like fur half jacket thing was given to me by my friend Erica um, a few years back. Uh, we went to uh, Six Flags. Um, and I was wearing liquid latex. And uh, I needed something to wear um, over it, you know, because you can't just walk around wearing with the latex. And so, um, you know, she saw me in it and was like, hey, you look better in it than I do, so keep it. So I was like, you know, Jesus, it seems like if I, uh, <laughs> it seems like, you know, if I didn't have women in my life, I'd be naked. Because, you know, um, they seem to dress me, which is actually ironic, because most of the time, that's why I'm naked. Um, but yeah. So, you know, that, um, I didn't end up going out last night doing any Halloween thing, because, um, you know, and I wanted to, too. I haven't done any Halloween stuff in years. I haven't dressed up in a long time. And, uh, I thought about doing it last night, but there was nothing that really seemed appropriate for it, because I didn't want to do anything that was going to be too serious and, you know, ritualistic or whatever. Um, because, you know, um, you know, I, uh, I definitely respect and, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say follow, but I definitely respect people, you know, who are celebrating sewing instead of the more, you know, silly Halloween type things. But I didn't really feel like doing anything very serious and deep last night. I just wanted to wear a fucking a luchador mask and a crown of thorns and, you know, pick up women. So, you know, uh, but that ended up not happening. Um, so hopefully next year there'll be something going on. Uh, I, didn't want, I also didn't want to go to the parade. I don't want... It was kind of cold last night, so I also wanted to wear a mini skirt made out of paper. So, you know, um, I'm not gonna walk around in a mini skirt in fucking 40 degree weather. Fuck that, you know. So, um, but yeah. Um, oh, and the other day I got myself some uh, 3D. Uh, well, I'll actually let me tell you the story behind that. I got um, House of the Dead Overkill because um, I'm a huge, huge light gun fan. I know people are like, oh, it's on rails and blah blah blah, and it's bullshit. But I like pointing at my TV and shooting. I do. It, it's it's one of life's little simple pleasures for me. I love like Lethal Enforcers and Crypt Killer and uh virtual cop and all those sort of things i used to love them back in the day um so it's why i'm glad that you know with the move for ps3 i can you know do it so anyway i got a uh, house of the dead overkill which was originally a wii title but they put it on ps3 they improved the graphics they um you know they uh, added levels they did all sorts of stuff to it which by the way currently brings the amount of games worth buying on the three to on the wii to five so, you know, just wanted to point that out. It used to be seven, and, uh, I'm sorry, to, uh, well, it used to be seven, and then they announced yesterday, um, the two Resident Evil, uh, Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles games are coming out for PS3, so now it's five. So, you know, by the end of the week, there'll be, like, nothing left for the Wii, because it's, it's a children's system. Anyway, as I was saying, um, because it's on PS3, and a lot of people have those super expensive 3D televisions now, it has, a uh, you know, uh, the compatibility to, uh, or whatever compatibility, whatever the fucking word is, but you can play it in 3D on, if you have one of the real 3D, 3D TVs. However, they know that not everyone has a TV like that, like myself, for example. So they put in an option, since it's kind of a grindhousey type, um, 
pre presentation. Um, it's it's actually really funny the way they present it, and I mean the voice acting is horrible, but it's done horribly on purpose. There's a character named Barla Guns who just she speaks in such a monotone the entire time, but it's on purpose. You can tell they did that because people in those movies couldn't really act. So, um, you know. Uh, so they put in, you know, old school uh, 3D in there, but it doesn't come with 3D glasses. So I was like, oh, well, how can I find 3D glasses? And a friend of mine was, um, you know, pointing me to eBay, which would have been cool. But Wallpaper Magazine had a uh, free pair of 3D glasses um, just happening to lie around in the newsstand of a particular bookstore. So I, uh, I don't know, they just somehow found their way onto the back of my... Um, you know, on, onto the back of my clipboard and uh, into my bag. I don't know how that happened. Um, I, I certainly didn't take the magazine because that would have been shoplifting. But somehow I ended up with these. Unfortunately, they had no handle. Um, so what I did to make it so I can just, you know, wrap it around my head like that um, is, uh, in fact, yeah, like this. What I do is um, I, I, I put a hole in them, as you can see right there. I put holes in them, and then I took an old shoe that I had, because I go through shoes about maybe, you know, um, every three months I have to buy new boots, because I'm just constantly wearing them out, um, at my straight job, which is, you know, as opposed to my gay job, which would, you know, be rent boy, but, um, you know, um, so I punched holes in it, and then I put a shoelace in there, so that I can, uh, tighten it and, um, loosen it however I want. And it, it works pretty well, actually. I'm very proud of my inventiveness, because I am a genius and, of course, a genie. So, um, yeah. So that's, uh, you know, one of the things I'm, uh, I'm very proud of. So, yes. Um, and it's funny, because I used to work in uh, Barnes & Noble Astro Place, and I was, you know, I was the one who would be standing, you know, behind you with my arms folded, telling you to put the uh, free poster back into the... Uh, Oh, I don't know, a uh, copy of uh, NME or something like that. But, you know, <sighs> hypocrisy over Alice, kids. So, yeah. Um, anyway, so basically that's what happened um, with that. Um, you know, as I said, I really would have liked to have gone out, but, you know, I didn't. In the meantime, I'm starting to get plans together for the video for... Uh, uh, this, you know, actually several videos, but this one in particular for the um, uh, Nemesis Dawn from uh, my band Nemesis Imperium. Uh, we need a bunch of extras for it, people, guidos, guidettes, uh, rapper type people, uh, girls with large asses, because um, I have, there's a section in there that's kind of a rap thing. And you know how they have the girls with the big asses shaking them to the purple spandex and all that sort of shit. So I need that and somebody would bling and all this and horrible things are going to happen to everyone. So it's going to be great. And also some very clean cut looking people uh, for a scene with, uh, I guess, uh, you know, Pentecostal Christian looking people. Could he, it doesn't even have to be Pentecostals. I mean, it could be, um, you know, Westboro Baptist types, you know, God hates facts type people or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm going to need some extras for that. So if you're interested, contact me and, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going to put something together that's going to be really cool and really fucked up looking, um, you know. And uh, I'm uh, already starting to talk to makeup people and all this sort of thing. It's going to be a big, you know, production. So, um probably way more ambitious than I should ever be planning, but I'm planning it. So if you think that, um, you know, you might be interested, uh, contact me and we'll see what we can do. Um, but, um, yeah, cause I'm going to need a bunch of extras for that. Um, you know, pretty much like I said, I'm, I'm, uh, we're, we're, we're doing as I, as if you've been paying attention to my band Nemesis Imperium, you'd see that I've said that we're probably going to do, um, you know, we're not releasing albums, we're doing things over the internet. And since everyone turns to YouTube immediately when they're supposed to go looking for a band, we thought that the best thing to do would be to, um, 
you know, make videos for all of our songs. And I want them to be videos that people are like, oh shit, check this shit out to their friends, you know? So the idea I have for this one, which I'm not gonna share right now, but um, you know, as I said, I, I told you the people I need extras for, but I'm not gonna go into what, you know, the actual uh, video itself entails, but it's gonna be fucked up. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so we'll pretty much be making videos for that. That's, that's one that, you know, um, I'm going to need a lot of help for. There's others that I'm not going to need that much help for. Um, but you know, um, I want people to be able to participate and help and, you know, and, and be part of the magic of what we're doing here. So speaking of which, um, as I said, if you play keyboard, Oh, uh, if you want to play keyboard and you want me to teach you, uh, contact me because we're still looking for a full-time keyboardist for Nemesis Imperium. Um, we have someone who's going to be filling in, a very good friend of mine who I've worked with before. I won't reveal who it is yet, but uh, we'll be filling in until we can find somebody. Um, and that'll be cool to work with that person again, but we do really want someone who's going to be a full-time member, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much what's going on. Um, I just felt like doing one of these, because it's been a while since I did one, and then I did the one on Saturday, and that was a short one, you know, where you got to just see me eat zebra cakes, because, uh, zebra cakes are the shit. So, um, yeah. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, you know, so, uh, I guess until next time. Uh, keep your fist in your ass and your face in the gutter. Nothing. Like